ladies and gentlemen, Ronald Ray here, your boy with a cornbread accent. Welcome you to this week's uh, episode of the WWE Raw Recap Show. Uh, fans at the M Market Arena in Savannah, Georgia got to see uh, the introduction of the new King of the Ring, that being Gunther. Also got to see a cage match for the WWE uh, Women's World Championship uh, as your main event. Hopefully the wrestlers... Hopefully none of the wrestlers got any kind of seafood allergies, and the ones that definitely don't, got, hopefully they, you know, took the time and enjoy some good seafood in Savannah, Georgia. Some nice seafood places there. Uh, no, not Martha Stewart's house. That's never had it there, but I like, you know, when I go to Savannah, uh, I like going to the, you know, non-chain places or not the spectacular places like, like I said, Martha Stewart's uh, restaurant. Anyway. Uh, I'm pretty sure you're not tuning in to hear my thoughts on the food and nightlife of Savannah, Georgia. You don't want me to talk about wrestling. Uh, so, yeah, that's what I'm going to talk about. And this episode, this, of course, the WWE Raw Recap Show. Appreciate everybody tuning in. Hey, if this is your first time watching it and you feel like you're being entertained a little bit, be a champ and click on that subscribe button. Also, leave a like and put in the comments. Let me know what you thought about this week's Raw. All right, with all that out of the way, let's let her rip. All right, kicking off this week's Raw is your new uh, King of the Ring for two, 2024. That is the Ring General Gunther. I guess they're going to call him the uh, the King General Gunther right, right now. I'm not sure. They really, they mentioned a couple times, not too much. But anyway, uh, he comes out, say, hey, I'm the King of the Ring. That means I'm getting a shot at. SummerSlam for the WWE uh, World Heavyweight Championship. Uh, he said, hey, I respect Damian Priest uh, for stepping up being leader of Judgment Day as Rhea Ripley is injured right now, but didn't really respect the part where, you know, he kind of did it underhandedly uh, through a loophole, if you will. But that's when Priest came out and said, look, you know, uh, that was the rules of, of the situation. I want to uh, money in the bank. I was able to cash in whenever, whenever, uh, when, whenever, anywhere, any place, anywhere. That's that's what I'm looking for. Uh, <clears throat> then uh, bring your piece. Say, hey, maybe I need to teach you some things about the business. Uh, Gunther's like, look, you know, I, I'm the one who's brought prestige to back to this business. Uh, the business I love and needs to be take, taken seriously. Uh, and, of course, you know, Drew's name got thrown in there. And what do you know? Drew McIntyre came out, uh, said a couple things about CM Punk, of course, because you got that program going. This is things you got to do. You got to, you know, keep that name out there. Um, don't overlook your opponents. But he did tell Damian Priest, because at, uh, at the next PLE, it's going to be in the U.K. He said, hey, the U.K. fans there, they're going to kind of get in your heads because they're not going to be for Damian Priest. They're going to be uh, 100% behind me. Uh, Damian Priest said, hey, let me see if I can get in your head. Where's your wife going to be? Uh, and, that, of course, you know, definitely ruffled the feathers of Drew McIntyre. Uh, then all of a sudden the music hits. Here comes Braun Strowman. Uh, him and Damian Priest just stare each other down. But this will lead to a match between Braun Strowman and J.D. McDonough uh, began the match. Braun Strowman just throw little, threw little J.D. around. Uh, J.D. would get out of the way uh, and counter, start working on the leg. But, of course, Braun Strowman using his power would make a comeback. Uh, ran him over outside of the ring to the, do the, uh, I guess it's called the Braun, the Braun train, whatever whatever it's called. Uh, but he, even though Finn Balor and uh you know, Finn Balor and Carlito was trying to help him out. Couldn't do anything with him. Braun Strowman will win with the running power slam uh, after the match. Carlito and Finn Balor would attack uh, Braun Strowman, but he got rid of them. J.D. McDonald said, look, I'm just going to clobber this big old son of a bitch, as Pat McAfee would say, uh, with a chair. Uh, that kind of pissed him off. So during the course of the night, Braun Strowman was chasing little J.D. McDonough around. 
Like I said, though, definitely looking forward to uh, Damian Priest versus Drew McIntyre. That should be a good one. And either way, if it's Drew picks up the world title, uh, him and Guthrie will definitely have a very good match. But a match we don't think we've really seen yet uh, is Damian Priest versus Guthrie. That should be, a, as shame as to say, a banger of a match. Uh, definitely going to be hard-hitting and stiff. So either way, fans win on that one. All right, next match features Ricochet going against uh, Ilya Dragunov. I hope I pronounced that name right. <clears throat> Last week, of course, uh, as Ricochet was confronting Ilya, saying, hey, look, you know, we had that match. You got the win, but I'm not cool with that right now, homie. So uh, how about me? You have a match. That's when uh, Bronson... Braun Breaker, excuse me, Braun Breaker would give him a spear, enter in the ribs, but they said he was ready to go. Uh, Ricochet wanted to do it. Adam Pierce made it uh, official, and that was the next match. Uh, Ilya will do a good job working on the ribs. Uh, every time, you know, uh, Ricochet would try to make a comeback, he'd go right back to it. He would get, his, you know, little uh, moves here and there. The, um, the distance clothesline he got for two. Uh, Ricochet would make a come, full comeback, though. Hit the uh, recoil for two, then got to the top rope, hit the suit, shooting star press. And speaking of Braun Breaker, he came in and speared uh, Ricochet. And uh, Ilya Dragunov thought he was going to jump on him, but for, his, uh, for doing that, he received a spear. That's when all the officials came out trying to get Ron Breaker out of the ring, and Adam Pierce, like I said, he does a great job as the uh, figurehead, commissioner, uh, general manager, manager fills that role pretty good, better than some people, because he's not really trying to be the heel, he's kind of keeping it neutral, but he did give a, uh, he did look like he was chewing Ron Breaker's ass a little bit, but Ron Breaker didn't care, uh, or Adam Pierce said, look, I find you, and you, you're not supposed to be here anyway. I suspend you for the night. What else do you got to do? Then, you know, Braun just looked at him, kind of gave him a stare, and that pretty much ended end that segment. All right, next match is AOP, the Authors of Pain, going against the Creed Brothers. Uh, AOP, I guess, taking a page out of the Road Warriors book, kind of attacked the Creed Brothers as they was coming in the ring, but... Uh, they try to hold their own, but this was mostly uh, AOP's match here. Got the advantage throughout the match. Uh, the Creed Brothers would make a comeback. Went for the uh, Brutus bomb, I think that's what it's called. Uh, but Charlotte would wind up throwing... Uh, uh, what's, it? what's her name? 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 Ivy Nile, excuse me. Uh, she would wind up Throwing her in the steps, of course, getting the attention of Brutus. AOP took advantage, hit their what's called their new move. Uh, they call it what a rush, basically a power bomb net breaker combination. Uh, but they did get the victory on that one. I think the rumor is, or a lot of fans are talking about maybe the Creed Brothers uh, joining forces with Chad Gable. Hey, same backgrounds would make sense. Uh, as, of course, you know, you get the full heel turn now of Chad Gable. I'm pretty sure now you're going to see Otis and the rest of uh, Alpha Academy breaking away from that. More on that later. All right, next up, we got Sheamus coming to the ring. He says he's uh, ready to go. He's been cleared, ready to go. And he wants a piece of that uh, loud mouth, pretty boy. Uh, Ligwood, Lig, excuse me. Ludwig Kaiser, I'll get it one day, uh, but that's when you see him, Ludwig, on the big screen, saying, look, you know, it's not my fault, you lost against Gunther, he is ring general, blah, 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 uh, kind of ran down, you know, Sheamus, uh, Sheamus finally said, I've had enough of this, uh, won't you get it, come out here, fine, you don't want to come out here, I'll come after you, uh, they meet up backstage, get a little brawl, that's when the officials came back out and separated them. Pretty good little angle here. Uh, 
can I give both these guys something to do right now? Uh, since uh, Vinci is, well, they split up that tag team. Vinci's on SmackDown. I'm not even sure if he's even wrestling on SmackDown yet, but I uh, kind of missed the last few SmackDowns. Anyway, that, uh, like I said, nice little brawl uh, between the two, good separation. Uh, that's pretty much it. We, we got a new program started. Well, it's been starting, but you know what I'm saying. All right, next match here, we got the ladies here. Kyrie Sane going against Lyra of Valkyria. Uh, decent little match here, not too bad. Uh, Lyra got to shine a little bit. Then uh, uh, Kyrie Sane, where she will work on her ribs for the most part, uh, kept stepping on them and uh, punching at it, kicking at it, you know, throwing those running forearms at it. Uh, but she would go for the insane elbow. Lyra would, you know, throw up her feet, blocking it, counter it. Then she would, would roll up Kyrie Sane, one, two, three, your winner. Uh, the second place, uh, the, you know, first finalist, I guess, of the Queen of the Ring uh, is Lyra Valkyrie. So obviously they're kind of going to push her a little bit, seems like, and see what they can do with her. Uh, like I said, more on that a little bit later, so uh, just keep watching. All right, next up uh, is Rey Mysterio going against Carlito, uh, trying to get a little bit of revenge for Carlito, turning his back on the LWO and attacking Dragon Lee. Uh, said he was a little, Rey Mysterio thinks Carlito was a little jealous of Dragon Lee. Uh, anyway, Carlito would control, you know, a big portion of this match, but Rey would come back, hit those, uh, Tea bag, flying tea bags, that's what I call them. Uh, but you know, Ben Balor would come out and attack Dragon Lee. Uh, of course, this did sit well with Rey Mysterio. He came out and tea bagged him uh, back in the ring. Uh, Rey Mysterio countered a uh, backcracker and hit the six one nine slingshot swan dive. We win it for Rey Mysterio. Uh, but Ray Stero still wanted to fight fight on, and he laid uh, Finn Balor across the table. Looked like Dragon Lee was going to put Finn Balor through the table, but out came um, Damian Priest. And, of course, you know, Carlito kind of distracted and caused uh, Dragon Lee to lose his balance. But Damian Priest came in, uh, nailed the razor's edge on him. Uh, Ray Mysterio trying to help out to no avail, though. Got kicked in the face and got the South of Heaven choke slam from Damian Priest. Damian Priest, of course, take him at it. He asked him, said, hey, do I got to handle this too? Uh, so, yeah, it looks like Damian Priest is kind of handling all of Judgment Day's business because, oh, man, they're kind of screwing up left and right lately. All right, next up we got Reed, or Bronson Reed versus Otis. Otis trying to get some revenge uh, and try and make things right for his mess up on uh, at the King and Queen of the Ring uh, premium live event, uh, specifically the Intercontinental Championship match where he wound up clotheslining Chad Gable. Uh, these two big guys just went at it, man. Uh, Bronson got to shine a little bit. Otis made a comeback. Looked like he was going to go for the uh, big caterpillar and do some dancing. Chad Gable, of course, not a fan of that right now whatsoever. Tell him, don't do it, don't do it. Uh, but this allowed Bronson Reed to kind of get his wits about him and kick him right in the face. This led to a senton and that big old tsunami splash from the top rope. Uh, gave Bronson Reed the match. After the match, uh, Chad Gable said, hey, Alpha Academy meeting. He chest asked Otis for being the screw up and said, look, I guess I'm going to have to discipline you. Uh, started taking off his belt and told Otis to grab the ropes. Kind of creepy. Anyway, it looked like he was going give to a, give him a whipping with a belt, but uh, Maxine Dupree, she blocked him from doing it. She kicked him out of the ring. Uh, that's when Sami Zayn came out and gave his inspirational promo, saying, hey, quit taking crap from this guy. Uh, then that's when Chad Gable and Sami Zayn went at it. When Sami Zayn got on top, Otis threw him off. But this will allow Chad Gable to 
uh, get the upper hand on Sami Zayn. I was uh, looking a little confused. Should, should I help him? Should I not help him? Um, you know, should I, you know, him being Sami Zayn? So, eh, still a little teasing a little bit. Like I said, you know, Triple H likes to, likes to think, let things simmer. Uh, but yeah, so I think the writing's on the wall. I believe I was probably turned baby face along with uh, Tazawa and uh, Maxine Dupree. Uh, we'll leave the Alpha Academy possibly, uh, unless she winds up, you know, turning against Otis. That way, you know, she can stay along. Uh, since her tag, you know, her tag team partner Ivy now, she's part of the uh, Creed Brothers group. Uh, so. Uh, Creed Brothers turning heel, being with Chad Gable. Looks good on paper. Uh, all of them's got the same back. Like I said, all of them's got the same background and everything. So I can see why fans might like this. Uh, kind of like back when uh Kurt Angle was a GM and supposedly he had a illegitimate son, and I think a lot of people was like, oh, it's, they don't have to use Chad Gable for that, but they used uh. Use his tag team partner for that, and it kind of just didn't sit too well. So, um, so this time I think you know uh, they'll, they'll they'll clean up that mess up, and since I think everybody's pretty much forgot about that by now. Anyway, let's go to the main event. All right, time for your main event of the night. It is Becky Lynch, the challenger now, uh, going up against the new WWE World Women's Champion uh, Liv Morgan. Still cage match. Should be no interference whatsoever. However, uh, well, let's just get right to it. Uh, Liv Morgan would get the early advantage. Uh, using a cage. Did a pretty good job using the cage as a weapon like you should do in a cage match. Uh, Becky Lynch will make comeback, but that was shortly lived when uh, she uh, ran to the cage. Then here comes Dominique. Dominic mean, Mysterio, he makes an appearance, opens up the cage, like he's trying to tell Becky, come on, come on, come on. Uh, ben Balor and Jamie, J.D. McDonough said, look, dude, what are you doing? Uh, if anybody, you know, we're big screw-ups lately ourselves, you, you're being the biggest screw-up. Uh, kind of calls, you know, mommy's sworn enemy right now. You know, Liv Morgan to be the champion right now. Uh, but, that's when Bron uh, Braun Strowman's music hits. Uh, he's chasing them around as he was doing that. He winds up uh, nailing <laughs> uh, Dominic Mysterio, which caused him to slam the cage in Becky's face. This allowed uh, Liv Morgan to uh, easily escape the cage. And, of course, she wound up rewarding Dominique with a big old kiss. So... Don't look like Mommy's going to be really happy when she comes back. I'm pretty sure uh, Dominic's shit was on the damn sidewalk. Hmm, that's, that's, uh, but, yeah, uh, interesting stuff there. So it looks like maybe Dominic's going with Liv Morgan for right now and make things even more interesting when um, Rhea Ripley does come back. And course this is her revenge to her so this will probably be part of that revenge stealing her man uh anyway uh this does it for this week's wwe raw recap show hopefully everybody liked it i want to plug a couple more things here uh as you well know on whoops let me slide back here oh i guess i should anyway on thursday nights oh let me go one more uh I also do a AEW recap show. Would love to do more recap shows like TNA, SmackDown. Trying to fit that all in with my schedule. Sometimes I, I do what I can, you know. Uh, but right now it's just going to be Raw recaps and AEW Dynamite recaps. But on Thursdays, I got a live stream I do. On, it starts at 8 p.m. Uh, Eastern, 7 p.m. Central, 6 p.m. Mountain, 5 p.m. Pacific. 9 a.m. Friday morning in Japan, 5 a.m. Friday morning in India. It's called Spot Show Live Stream with me, Ronald Ray. Uh, that's where we talk more about current stuff. Of course, you know this Thursday, going to dive into the results of the 
King and Queen of the Ring premium live event, as well as AEW's Double or Nothing pay-per-view. Uh, yes, I did watch both of them. Did recap uh, videos to both those events, so feel free to go check those toes out. If uh, the current stuff is not your thing uh, on Thursday or on Friday nights, I have a sh little show. Again, another live stream. Uh, Wrestling Gold Friday night, where I sit here and like I said we uh may join join me in a chat, talk about old school wrestling. Uh, gonna uh, talk about uh, May thirty first history of or this day in history, May thirty first this week. Also, uh, crap, that was the uh, I need to change that one. Anyway, uh. <laughs> uh don't worry about that day. It, I think this week will be episode eight. I think. Anyway, yes, this Friday we're going to talk about uh, this day in wrestling history, May thirty first. Also, going to play some, uh, do a watch along of USA Wrestling. Uh, it was a little promotion, not long, just short lived. Uh, Ron Fuller went back to Knoxville to try to get that uh, town back up. Um, and this was uh, late 80s, I think, 1988. Uh, so we're going to watch an episode of that and talk about that a little bit. Uh, let's see. Also, you know, uh, one more show I got here is uh, it's already up and at it t up to is uh, this week's Wrestling Trivia Tuesday. What I do is every Tuesday I ask five questions, all dealing with the sport of professional wrestling. Uh, so, yeah, check that out. Uh, share with friends and uh, comment. Let me know what you, how you did. It's just about having fun. Uh, like I said, play along with friends, family, enemies, all the above. Anyway, like I said, that does it for me this week. Hopefully, everybody has a good one and take it easy. Hey there, thank you for checking this out. If you enjoyed it, share with friends, drop a like button, leave a comment. Also, be a champ. And hit that subscribe button. You can also check me out on social media, Facebook at Ronald Ray. On X or Twitter is RPATRPTV46. Until next time. So long from the Peach State of Georgia.